Hello everyone, this is Pomum bringing you part 9 of my Fire Emblem Birthright Iron Man. Uh, I have some challenges. As I, as I said, I don't think I'm going to do any challenge. I think I'm just going to try and keep Birthright linear and see how that works. This is definitely a game that uh, is easy enough for you to beat it linearly. So, so let's see if we can make that happen. If it becomes very obvious that the only way I have to overcome the game, like every good unit I have is dead and all my other units are under trained, then I will use the, the skirmishes. But otherwise... Did I just see Nico 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 holding like a giant Naginat? Gods, this is starting to go on forever. We can do this. Indeed, but what did you expect? This is the eternal stairway. Not to worry, we've almost reached the halfway point. What? Right, I suppose there was no five minute stairway we could have taken instead. But um, Please. Be silent. Nico, 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 please be silent for a moment. Uh, yeah, yeah, that fell a bit flat. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, I tried it. No, that's not it. I'm sensing an unusual presence. I think we're being followed. Uh, how is that possible? I haven't seen any signs of life. Listen. Attention, whoever you are. Show yourself now if you wish to avoid conflict. Faceless. No. Faceless, where did they come from? Oh, strange, I expected humans. The faceless usually Ellen this is stealthy. In any case, we have no time to spare. Let's take them out. Sura, can you please guard Sakura while we deal with this? Yes, of course. Be careful, Nico Nico Ni. Are you ready, Kase? Let's do this. You can count on me. Yeah. Stand aside or be destroyed. Alright, yes, a few more standing. This is... And, and not to shit continuously on the writing or anything or the uh, things that happen, but... There are situations in which I'm supposed to take the faceless very seriously, like when they kill Mosu's whole family. But then these situations come where we take on armies of faceless and, and they are like imposing enemies twice as tall as Kase, but well I guess in this case it doesn't it doesn't really apply because as you see here something happened. Wait a minute, what's this? Everyone hold something isn't right. What's that? What's the matter, Nico Nico Ni? No. These aren't faceless they are people. Gods what have we done? I'm afraid you're right, I don't recognize their clothing. These people are from the Wind Drive. I don't understand. A moment ago, this person right here was a faceless monster. <laughs> Who's there? Show yourself at once. Hello. Good day, Prince. Did you enjoy my, my trick? Oh. Iago, what have you done? I didn't do a thing. You're the ones who struck down these poor villagers. Yeah. Why? What could you have possibly to, to, to gain? Don't you see? This is just the beginning. Now that you're with the Hoshidans, anything is for a game. Oh, your ignorance does tickle me. <laughs> and he's gone. This put us at an unfortunate, in an unfortunate position, to say the least. The rat ahead takes us through the wind drive territory. Mm. We're going to have a hard time explaining what just happened. Big brother. Mm. Was that maniac anyway? Do, do you know him, Nico Nico Ni? Yeah. Yes, his name is Iago, King Garon's right hand man. Didn't know he was capable of this sort of thing. He probably made the ass appear to be faceless to those poor villagers. But he did, that, he did do us one favor. He revealed himself to us as an enemy. Fair point. Fair point he could have tricked us into believing he's an ally. I'm sure we'll have to go through him to get to King Garon. Yes, I would expect so. All right. Hmm. 
Wind Drive Village. We've arrived. This is the Wind Drive Village we must pass through. From Nikoniconi, are you certain you want to approach this village directly? Yes. Yes, trying to sneak around will only make us seem more suspicious. Surely they'll understand that we mean them no harm. Hmm. Not that so optimistic, but I will trust your judgment. Uh, looks like though, as though the decision has been made for us. It's them. Uh, here they are, the savages who attack our people. Prepare to die. Uh, please wait, we can explain. It is true that we fought with some of your people, but we were deceived by an enemy of Forum Nord. What did you say? Please, how stupid do you think we are? Hmm. This is going well. Yeah. Right, any ideas? Um, uh, excuse me, can I have everyone's attention? Sakura, uh, Sakura be careful. Please, please forgive us. We are s sorry to have hurt your people, but you must understand that they appeared before us as faces. Lady Sakura, you're with these brigands? Yeah, uh, what's going on here? My apologies. Please, you must believe us. L Lady Asura is with them too. M maybe they are telling the truth. All that thought, have you considered that this might be a trap? Either way, we can't make this decision ourselves. Let's see what Chief Fuga has to say. Yes. Uh, very well, we would be happy to speak with your Chief Fuga. Uh -huh. Let's speak. <laughs> Somehow, I don't think that's what the chief will have in mind. I see. Wait. Be careful, Nico Nico. I believe your strategy is sage, but we are putting ourselves in a highly vulnerable position. Yeah. Yes, I'm well aware of that, but what choice do we have? And so, it begins. This map. I think, okay, hey, 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 let's talk about that a bit later. Uh, this map is, I think, the only desert map in this game. I might be wrong, correct me if I am, but it features a lot of units uh, that are impeded by the sun, a lot of units that are not impeded by the sun, because as you know, it's a tradition in Fire Emblem that mages uh, can move normally through the sun. A lot of static enemies too, like this paired up one, this paired up one, I think... Oh no, 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 this paired up one actually moves. Okay, so only one static enemy? Yeah, only one. And some new units, some new units that we can recruit. But before that, I, I will talk about them when the map begins. Okay, so Rinka, Sakura, Hana, Felicia, Sura, Slash, Saiso, and Mothu. I'm going to bring her to this one at least. I think training her in this one is easy because there's a lot of mages and a lot of uh, samurai that she has a weapon advantage on. So if I want her to get accurate kills, this is a good map to do it. Also the sand restrains the enemy's movement so she can be kind of safe in certain situations. Um, now about Kase, Tsubaki and Orochi. Okay, first of all, even though I don't think I'm going to use Subaki in the long run, because there's a lot of flyers I'm interested in using. Uh, mainly Hinoka, Reina, and Scarlet. Um, possibly a promotion of an archer into Kinshi Knight, so that's a lot of flyers already for me to consider Subaki. I've never been a big fan of Subaki in the first place. I think he lacks a bit too much offense for me to to appreciate and uh, and even planning on the long 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 run I think Subaki is very good in revelations so keeping him as I'm used for me to use in the future in a revelations uh, playthrough is a good idea still I'm going to bring him to this map because in this map uh, having a flyer is very valuable due to all the difficult terrain. And I think I'm going to bring Orochi over Kase. Because as I said, Kase is not going to do a lot. Uh, Saizo is definitely taking his spot. Orochi can move unimpeded through the sand due to being a mage, a diviner. And he, he's also very good against the savages, the only savages. So yeah, going to bring her. 
and the map I'm going to it would be great to have a group that is able to deal with them immediately I know <laughs> turning Nikonikon Nikon into a into a cavalier was probably not the best idea um, but what can you do oh uh, maids are impeded by the sun okay I don't know if I knew that I think I didn't. Uh, Ninja can move only two. Okay, and I'm going to put you here because you can move out of there fast. I think that's a good starting position. Yeah, let's fight. What's going on here? I thought the wind drive was neutral. Oh, the human mind is weak and malleable. Things change. Oops. So soon I have your rank about a uh, foot or so in the last minute. No, I'm actually sinking in some in some quicksand. Hmm. <laughs> quicksand at this latitude. How fascinating. Am I going to die now? Physically, yes. Probably. But your spirit will live on in our memories. Asamo, why aren't you doing anything to help her? And Setsuna, why are you so calm? Is, is this some sort of joke? Uh, I guess I'll have to save you. Thanks. Uh, thank you, my lady. Ah, uh, my, my. Lady Hinoka, the hero. Uh, Sama, we're currently under attack. Can you try to be serious for two seconds? Yes. Of course, my lady. Although I am currently without any battle implements, so I'm afraid I'm at the mercy of your protection. I think I'm stuck in the quicksand again. Gods, I knew I couldn't rely on the two of you, but this is worse than I imagined. Let's try and hold it together long enough for us to see this through, alright? Maybe Ryoman Takumi can help me babysit once we finally catch up to them. Alright. Now, the gimmick in this map, or the dragon bait in this map, is one that turns the desert spaces into plains. It's very useful to move faster, especially uh, in this case, but it also means that the enemies will be able to move faster. And as you see, we are in, in a fair amount of danger from the very beginning, so I don't know if that's what I want to do. Okay, that's less than I expected. And I don't double, even with the katana. And buy a lot, because you have 11 speed. Oh, that's due to plus 2, yeah? Plus 3. Plus 3, yeah, the, the Omjoje para bonuses are very good. Plus 3 magic, plus 3 speed. That's true. Uh, but if I go by brute force, I can do quite a lot of damage. Hmm. Yeah, that's a start I didn't expect to be so, so difficult. And we also have Hinoka, Asama, and Setsuna positioned in such a way that I think they are basically non-aggressive. And we can recruit him. We can recruit them with Nico Nico Ni. So Nico Nico Ni is going to have to move all the way there. Uh, of course, unlocking this is going to be the fastest way for him to move. I think he has to talk to Hinoka. I think. Setsuna might move and attack. I honestly don't know that much about this game, so I'm, I'm a bit lost sometimes as to what uh, the enemy's AI uh, is like. Okay, Let, let's start by the sure things. You only have one range, so if I put myself here with Felicia, they are going to switch into the mage and attack me. That's only a mage attacking Felicia who has uh, 14 resistance. She's not going to care at all about it. And uh, the dual strike doesn't really matter. I can give... I'm going to give Anna to Silas, and I'm going to strike here with the javelin for 12 
Hmm. Okay, that's about the start. That's about the start. I'm going to trade you the steel sword because, of course, if not, you would get doubled. I'm going to. I have a lot of uh, new axes or new clubs on Ringa now. I'm going to put myself here with the brass naginata. Uh, you can go here for dual strikes. Dual strikes from Morochi are probably the best thing about her. She's very accurate and does a lot of damage. So even if she isn't. Okay, this way I can reduce damage. I think I will put myself here. In case I want to move Nico Nico Ni by pairing up with Subaki. Yeah. Uh, what was I saying? Something about Orochi. Yeah, Orochi is very fragile, so normally for her to actually battle enemies is a bit difficult because she doesn't have an enemy face, she has to rely on her player face. But a good way to take advantage of her damage is by having her dual strike with someone else. Of course, in this case, it's not going to work because the enemies are in a in a pair of formation, so they will block. Uh, and I do a lot of damage with the Steel Sword, much more than with the Javelin, so that's also very good. Very good, in fact, because I could even go for a Javelin against the Mage now. Will the Mage move? No. Perfect. Okay. Okay. Okay, Athama, you are just stupid. Athama has a very weird personal, by the way. Uh, Divine Retribution. If the unit has no weapon equipped, the Jason foes suffer half uh, their inflicted damage. So that means if this guy does 17 attack to his 10 defense, he has quite a lot of defense for a healer. He's a weird healer with a lot of strength and defense. Uh, the enemy will take 3 in return. Okay, so they are moving closer. Maybe it's not worth uh, using Subaki to move. Or maybe it is. We'll have to see. What's obvious is that uh, this guy is going to be able to attack all the way there. So if I can put Silas there with a Javelin, he will block with the dual guard. Yeah, that's, that's probably good. Hmm... This guy is a bit of a problem. Okay, let's think about this carefully. Rinka. Nico Nico Ni. Felicia. Okay, Felicia with more defense and able to kill you because she gets plus four strength. Very good. This way, I you don't move, okay, and I can take this. I can take this. It's seventeen, but they have eight defense now, thanks to Rink again. Uh, noisy car passing down. Now I can move you a bit closer to do this. It's a brush can yes. A nice accurate kill for Saizo. And a nice accurate kill for Orochi. Very good, very good. How do you completely skip animation from the beginning? I know you can. I think it's by keeping uh, the R button pressed. I'm going to try it. Next, I can move. Thankfully, uh, uh, Sakura is not impeded by the sand. Elise would be, actually. So, magic. Okay, magic. You're getting a lot of defense. You're just getting very weird stats, but I know your magic is well under the, under the average. And I'm going to pair up to be able to do this fast. Let's talk. Noka, what are you doing here? Huh? I could ask you the same question, Nico Nico Ni. Well. Yes, well, a lot has happened. I thought you were in the, cap in the capital. Uh, yes, I was. 
But I decided to try and catch up to Ryom and take me on the way to Izuna. Ah, well, it's good that we met up, but I have some bad news. Ryom and Takumi are missing. We're trying to track them out. <laughs> missing? Oh, gods. They are not the sort of men that simply go missing. What has happened to them, Pikunikuni? We don't know. We've run into a few problems of our own along the way. Yes, I can see that. I thought the wind tribe was neutral. <laughs> Why are we fighting? It's a long story, but I believe we'll be able to explain ourselves to the chief. Will you join us? We could certainly use a little help. <laughs> of course. Although a little help is about all you'll get from these two. Huh? What do you mean by that? Never mind, I'm just happy to have you on our side. Let's do this. Okay. Now let's switch and let's separate. So that they can go on the ground. So let's talk about the new units. Hinoka. Tsubaki 8 strength, Hinoka 9 strength. Same skill, 6 more speed. Uh, her defense yeah, is actually lower because she's getting, well, it's the same. Because she gets plus 5 from her Naginata, the guard Naginata. I actually, you know what, I'm not using Tsubaki, so. This is probably a more. Well, a more accurate representation of uh, Hinoka's defense. It's uh, still very good. The guard Naginata doesn't do a lot of damage and it reduces her avoid, but it can act as a clutch weapon when you need to defend from an enemy. It's, it's a very good, very good weapon, honestly. And yeah, Hinoka is here as great. She has a decent strength for a Pegasus, good skill, good speed, good luck. Decent defense, uh, good resistance, her only low point for a, a promotion into Falconet is that her magic is not great at base and it's never going to get great. So if you want your Falconet to be able to heal, she's not your best option, but yeah, Hinoka is just a great unit overall. Uh, flying utility, uh, there's also this skill very broken skill darting blow which is basically plus five speed when attacking uh yeah hinoka is just very 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 good and i would be a stupid not to use her so that's one of the reasons why subaki is going down the drain i know i could use both and go overkill with flyers but i just don't feel like it and then we have her retainers which aren't that good compared to her uh first Athama. Atama is probably one of the weirdest units in face, in face if not the weirdest. Uh, Atama is a warrior locked into a healer. He has very good strength, speed, defense, even skill. He just has very good offensive stats and he would be very good in a physical class. But he starts as a healer. It's almost as if he was put into a randomizer and reclassed into a healer because he doesn't work that well in this room. Now, the game definitely intends to put him into Monk because, as I said with Sakura, one of her promotions is into a physical type healer. So, Athama can promote into a physical type healer, which, uh, unlike the female version, uh, which uses bows, he would use lances. And if I promote him into that, he will be able to get a lot more strength suddenly on the promotion and he will be able to make use of his high strength, speed, defense, his battle stats. So Atama, you could consider to be a bit of a trainee unit because you basically have two options if you want to use him. You either uh, invest experience to make him go a uh, high level fast enough that you are able to promote him or you reclass him early so that you know uh, you are able to make use of that of those stats i think reclassing is a good option in a lot of cases because he has a support with subaki which means through the use of a friendship seal he can go into uh, Pegasus Knight. Pegasus Knight would give him Darting Blow, which is a very good skill. It would also let him train Lances, which is the weapon he's going to use if you reclass him back to Great Master, his promotion from Monk. 
uh, has some nice perks, but he's definitely not the best unit in this game. He just requires much more investment to be ready than other units we're going to get later, like uh, Hinata, Oboro, and yeah, of course, not to be repetitive, but real. And speaking of comparing to units that come later, here's Setsuna. Setsuna is an archer. This is a unit that comes in a very weird situation. Uh, Setsuna's growth, like her personal growth, as a, I'm going to pair you with him actually. And you are going to move a bit ahead. Uh, Setsuna's growth, you know, we're going to take on. Yeah, we're going to take on the archer. As a, as a unit, Setsuna doesn't have the best growth. Her only actual high growth is speed and a bit of resistance, but resistance is also quite difficult. But, um, if you would have to think of a good class for Setsuna to be in, uh, you would think, okay, she needs something that uh, makes her not able to be retaliated because her defense is never going to be great, something that gives her a lot of strength, some good skill, uh, and that's Archer. So she's already kind of in her optimal class. But as soon as you take her out of Archer, she's going to be useless. I, I don't think there's any other class in this game that fits Setsuna better than Archer, aside from maybe Berserker. I think, I, I guess she would be a pretty good Berserker. Um, and the problem is, we are going to get Takumi very soon. And when using Setsuna, it's almost impossible to not compare her to Takumi, who's like the prime archer of this game. It's like a bit of a Subaki and Hinoka situation, you know, he, she is immediately one up by, by a unit that comes later. And Takumi is better than her in every stat except for speed. Takumi actually has a bit of a speed problem, so... And a speed problem is uh, something very important, you know, uh, be being able to double the enemy is very important. So in a way, Setsuna can kind of compensate her shortcomings by being faster. Oh, okay. 6% critical. Uh, that's half true, because in birthright a lot of the enemies are slow, because they are Norian classes. Uh, Setsuna is just in a weird position. Again, both Azam and Setsuna, Hinoka was right. Not the best units ever. Um, someone told me, will you consider using Setsuna? You know what? I don't think I've ever seriously used Setsuna, so I will try. I will try. Uh, but I will do so with the understanding from everyone in this channel that uh, Takumi is just a better unit. And I, I think nobody will contest this. Okay. Very good, very good. Uh, so, because I'm going to use her, let's give her a kill. I mean, if she can. This is 83. She's against the weapon triangle, but yeah. Pretty accurate. Again, she does uh, some good damage, as you saw there. Okay, I kind of want to turn this into normal ground but also there would be some trouble to block the enemies from attacking Orochi well no there, there wouldn't be because I would okay I'm going to do it you'll see first I dragon bane okay now Orochi is in danger but okay this was a bad idea this was a very bad idea, actually, because now I have to put myself there, which is in range of the mage, I think. No, maybe it isn't. Okay, it isn't. And it doesn't really matter. Okay, if I steal sword and you iron katana and we separate no, we separate that way because Hana is a bit more fragile. Only a fighter can reach her. 
I would love to give her a fair up. Yikes. Okay, not not the best situation for Hannah right now, but she should be able to survive. Move our units to the to the side. I could even lure the Okay. Oh shit. Uh Silas, that's good damage from you. I didn't expect to see 19 above. 19? Why? Are you getting some boost? Your person? No, your personal is when when Nico Nico is under half health. That's not happening. We can see it right here. Also, did I just get more damage? Was it because someone is in my... Oh no, I know why it is. Because of Hinoka's personal. I actually forgot that was a thing. Oh, you attacked Saizu. Okay. Very much okay with that. So you decided to pass on Hana. That ah, makes sense, because Hana, Hana wrecks you. Uh, yeah, Hinoka's personal is basically the opposite of Sakura. She gives plus two damage to allies. So uh, Sakura is a, has a, like a defensive personal. Uh, Hinoka has an offensive one. It's pretty cool actually to combine them and play around with them. So now we do two times uh, eight times two. That's okay. That's a lot of experience. You're only level three. Okay, you're only level 3. That's very low. Then speed for level 3. You might be better than I consider. Level 3 is very, very, very low. Uh, let's give a heal to Athama. I would like to see like a level from Athama. Uh, I don't know. Consider him as an option. Even though I don't think it's going to happen. Let's give this one to Mothu. Level up for Motu. Let's see if it's good. It's very good. It's very good. Maybe not good for a Motu level up, but good for a level up. If you get what I mean. Um, yeah. Nice. We avoided the enemy. Level 8 for Hana with strength, skill and luck. You're actually getting... Not slow, but a bit slower than, than expected. And here we have to retaliate against... Uh... Wait, are you weakened yet? Okay. I think then if I put you there and I bloom first, tell you... You're not able to reach, right? No, not at all, not at all. A position there to do a strike, that's okay, that makes it so that uh, Moku can move faster, so that's good. Through this side, I mean, because the enemies just got out of the way. I switch, I separate, I will actually send Sakura this way. Yes, because she's begging to get some heals on people. Uh, Hana can get a quick. Quick scope heal here. Can. No need to thank me. Oh. Okay. Intermissions. I love when Fire Emblem does this. When Fire Emblem puts small bits of story in the middle of the map, it's actually one of my favorite things. Like uh, in in map events. So you've made it this far. Yeah. Uh, you must be Chief Fuga. Please allow me to explain. No. no. You must earn the right to explain. Show me that you fight with honor. Whatever, man. Whatever, Fuga. Um, now, you don't move that far, neither do you, but you, you're quite dangerous. Move all the way there. So, that's something I should consider. Okay, I'm going to do this. Uh, it's going to seem a bit stupid from the outside. But it makes all the sense in the world and you have a droppable iron club. Why did I buy an iron club? Because I'm stupid. I didn't remember that the enemies give you one. So this is definitely intended for you to give uh, Rinka. Then I'm going to move all the way up. I'm going to some Festal. 
and I was going to give this skill to Orochi, but maybe Silas is a better choice, except he can't. He can't. Okay. Then Orochi it is. Iron Club. Uh, let's put you there. And honestly, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you will be able to go there, but I, I don't think that's a big deal. And the mage is just going to be able to reach you with his one, two, three, four, five, two. So this is actually only helpful for us. Yeah, I'm going to Dragon Man. Yeah, I know it looks risky, but if you take out this guy... Wait, you are able to move? Okay. Okay, Felicia has a shield. So she should be okay, but it is more risky than I anticipated. I thought this guy was... I even checked it before and I realized he wasn't. That's very bad because I can't go into that range to attack the... the Oni Savage. You have to rely on either the Yato. That's eight times two. Only eight. Okay. Oh, oh, I have it, I have it. I do eight times two. Please go for Corrin or something. Dragon yeah, Fang. A bit of an underwhelming animation, but it's very good because it basically bypasses defenses. So as you saw here, incredible for, for enemies like Oni Savages, Generals. Woohoo! That's a level. Elbow room. Elbow room. Uh, plus three damage when fighting in a space with no terrain effects. Incredible early game uh, skill. Incredibly good and completely underrated. Continuously underrated. Uh, is Felicia okay? Okay, so she blocks this guy, but it's the, the archer that I'm afraid of. Well, I shouldn't be. An archer plus a mage is not able to kill Felicia. And if the archer does, like, what, nine? Okay, you go for... Again, an archer is not going to be able to do 11 to Nico Nico Ni at all. They have an annoying healer. And you didn't move. Huh. Uh, and I get a level on Setsuna, let's see. I'm happy. Okay, it's a good level. It's a good level. A skill speed lack different rest. I would like your strength to be higher. I feel like your problem as an archer is mainly your strength. Like defense is not that useful for an archer. But it's not like I can complain. It's not like I can complain with a with a level like that. I could even Get pretty here, but uh, let's consider our options before. <laughs> All right, Mothu Goof. I mean, this guy only has a brass katana for some reason. I guess for him to be very accurate, or maybe the design is just there to help you a little bit. The speed on Silas there, very nice. I mean, it was Silas dual attacking, so I shouldn't be surprised that. We see that much damage coming. Another heal for Sakura. Go here. Give you to Silas. Transfer you to Subaki. Move you here. Switch into Saiso. And kill with the Steel Shuriken. Nice. I know this game. I know this game. Very good, and now it's much easier to take you out of the way. I was going to give it to Silas, but he probably doesn't... Yes, I can just have him 
on here with the javelin, which is quite a lot of damage, and give the kill to yeah, Hana plus the assist. Nice. And we are getting very close to Fuga. Okay, one for Saiso. Uh, whatever, choose, choose your poison. And he's dead. And this guy can reach me Koni Koni. I didn't notice this. It doesn't really matter. It's not a lot of damage. Okay, if it's only a bit of damage you need to do, then you can do Rashuriken, leave the enemy about to die. Strength, skill, resistance. Nice. Motu comes in, takes the kill. I should skip this. Okay, how do you do it? As you go into... I don't know how you... How you skip the battle. I don't know. But whatever. Give the kill to Setsuki. I know there's a way to like... I know there's a way to turn off animations yes, as you are about to enter the battle so that you never get the... the prompt into the battle. I guess I'm not making myself very clear here. I mean, from the beginning he has a still katana, so I can go in with a shuriken. You've shown, you've shown some fortitude. Now show me that you're worthy of my attention. Well, that's 11, and you seal strength, okay? You also have vantage, which means when he's under half health, he will attack first. You take that into account. And in his enemy phase, like in the enemy phase, when he's the one attacking, he gains plus 30 avoid. So enemy facing him, not a good idea. Right now, going with lances seems like a good idea. Mm. Okay. Let's give some damage to Hana. As she goes... Oh! As she goes for a safe hit. Wait, did I just block Setsuna by attacking from this point? I think I did. No, she can attack from here. I even have the rallying crayon. Uh, I can... Okay, I can weaken with the iron dagger. Okay, thanks for no critical, actually. And if Setsuna fails, I give it to Hinoka. Level 8, okay. Uh, someone hurt something? No, doesn't seem to be the case. Okay, I tried, I tried. Getting her to level 5? No. It's not happening. It's not happening. Mmm... Like, if I could use a weapon that allows Setsuna to assist or something, but... Well, I can... I can give it to Mothu, too. Instead of Hinoka. But this is an Iron Man. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's, let's give it to Hinoka. Hinoka is the better unit here. She likes the experience. I know this is Vantage. Okay, doesn't matter. We take it. Boof. Quite impressive. PDP, 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 magic, speed, and rest. All right. Magic is good. Magic is good for for Falconite later, so I'm not complaining. A speed rest, nice classical Hinoka, and then Silas eight turns, pretty good. Not like it was fast, but. Uh, we, we had a decentish amount of turns. <laughs> well done. 
I suppose I shouldn't have underestimated one who carries the sacred yet of Lathe. Now, I will gladly hear an explanation for the unprovoked attack on my people. Yes, <laughs> yes of course. Wait, what do you know of my blade? <laughs> ah, King Sumeragi and I were good friends. I learned much about the history of that weapon from him. I also shared concern for its beauty, which is why it was necessary for me to test you. Huh? Test me? How so? Nico Nico Ni. The blade you possess has the power to link the seal of flames. In the wrong hands, it could unleash enough power to end the world. That's why I wanted to see for myself if you are indeed the right person to handle it. I, I see. And what of the villagers we wounded? I already knew that you and your associates were acting in good faith. For what reason would Hoshidan royalty attack a stranger? And then allow his party to be peacefully captured by the strangest tribe. No, I was well aware that something was amiss. Thank well, thank you for believing in us. This is the first good news we've had in some time, I'm afraid. Well, then. Oh, please, I would gladly hear your full story. But let us freshen up from the battle and sit down to a proper meal first. Oh. I appreciate the invitation. Um, uh, believe me, a bit of rest and a meal are what we need. But. We're in search of Lord Ryoma and Lord Takumi. We have a moment to spare. Huh. I see. And you must be on your way. Best of luck. <sighs> well, I suppose that worked out better than it could have. Truly. Yes, I'm glad to know we can still count the wind drive among our friends. Hey. I'm still passing a bit over what Wuga said about my blade. Do you know anything about the Seal of Flames? I don't know. No. But I found it curious that he described linking the seal. Could there be more than one seal of flames? If so, could there be more than one sacred blade out there? It is a troubling idea. What if our enemies already possess a similar weapon? Right. Right, that is a troubling thought. But let's focus on the problems in front of us before inventing new ones. Ah. You're right, Nico Nico Ni. I suppose I'm getting carried away. Yeah. Perhaps we've spoken too soon. Here comes Chief Fuga, and he appears to be in a hurry. Nikonikoni, please wait a moment. Uh, how can we help you, Chief? Is everything okay? Yes, yes, thank you. It occurred to me that we might be able to make a mutually beneficial arrangement. You are in need of all the men and women you can get, and we have a skilled diviner who could use some real-world experience. His name is Hayato and he would like to offer his services to you and your party. Well, to your party. Good day. Hmm... Um, I got that look, don't think I didn't. <laughs> Please, don't judge him by his youthful appearance. Hayato has mastered a number of unique skills that make him invaluable. Hmm. I don't mean to sound conceited, but you would be lucky to have me in your team. Thank you. I won't. Very well, I certainly won't turn down your assistance at a time like this. Fantastic. It's splendid. I hope he makes a valuable addition to your team. And as for you, Hayato, I'm glad to finally be able to offer you this chance to travel. Huh? Uh, travel? I hope you both realize this isn't exactly a vacation. Mm -hmm. Of course, it's just that Hayato has not had much opportunity to leave the village. In addition to helping you, he will be exploring the world for the first time. <laughs> I, I see. I think I understand exactly how he feels. After all, I spent most of my childhood locked in an orient castle. Huh. <laughs> well, then I'm sure you two will have a lot to talk about. I trust you'll take good care of our Hayato. Uh. Chief, must I remind you again that I am no longer a child? Hmm. You're right, you're right. I must admit that I still feel a bit protective at times. <laughs> dad, I, I mean Chief. Or Nico Nico, he's not my dad. He's just looked after me since I was a child. Understood. It's okay, I understand. Anyway, we should get going. Welcome aboard, Hayat. Thank you for everything, Chief Fuga. No. No need to thank me. Please feel free to come back here anytime you'd like. I'm proud to have met the one whom the sacred Yato chose. Chose. We shall meet again. Is that it? Yeah? 
Okay, that was chapter 9. No deaths. No wolf, right? Could we leave something like this? A bamboo pole. Okay, that's a lunch. Holy shit. Okay, um... We'll bring you here. I decided to take a stroll. In Nor, there's not that sunshine. No, I should have never brought it up. You are in Horsido, not in Nor. But I live in Nor. I was happy in Nor. Really? Traps, 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 traps. If you don't know, he knows Setsuna's gimmick is that she gets caught in traps. Don't ask me how they decided to make that a gimmick, but Sakura. Oh no. Um, it's just. Are you sure nothing's wrong? Yeah, I have something very impolite to ask you. I mean, no offense, but okay. I can't. What was that about? Nice support. Felicia Hanna. They have a support, okay. Same sex supports are not that common. There's uh, three per character, normally. Uh, two in your same country, one with someone from the other country that you get in Revelation. Is that you, Felicia? Hello, Hanna. What's the matter? You don't look all that happy. That's supposed to mean... You know that I serve as a retainer. I'm worried whether I'm doing my job properly. My Konigun is like a family to me. Know what you're talking about. Sakura is both my best friend and my leech. Oh, you're right about that. Feels like a complicated relationship. Do you have some answers? Is there a proper attitude? Okay. Uh, servant things. And Mothu says... Makes sense, makes sense. I did have them per lap for a while. So that's all there is to do here, time for a break. You there, blow in the field. Starting new crop. If there's anything I can do to help, come fine. I work in the fields. Igasato, where I come from. One of the few references of Igasato. Because I think we don't ever put our foot in, in Igasato. Because in the mountains we had to be self-sufficient. I'm called to helping with the crops. And yeah. It's just Saiso being nice as he is. Okay. Lots of support. Good. That's good because it powers up our army. I'm about reading them because this has been kind of a long uh, chapter. Eh, I'm not going to do that. As I said, I will read maybe some of the interesting ones, but I don't know. Setsuna talking about how she falls into traps, or Felicia and Hannah going back about, I'm a servant, I am too. Nice, nice. No. Uh, yeah, I think that's going to do it for uh, this part. We got new units. Hinaoka, Azama, Setsuna and Hayato. Because I should talk a bit about Hayato. Hayato is... A level 1 Diviner. Let that sink in. A level 1 Diviner. It's true that his growths are decent, but they also aren't, in my opinion, good enough to justify training him. He has balanced growths. Decent speed, decent magic, decent defense for a mage, decent res. So, technically, he's the... If you want your unit to cap, if you want your mage to cap all his stats, Hayato is your best bet. But why would you want your mage to cap all his stats? What you want your mage to have is magic and speed, mainly. Um, I think by the time he comes, if you are investing in Orochi, you can have Orochi at level 7 or so. And her magic is always going to be better than Hayato's even if her speed is uh, clearly inferior. Uh, and it is a on base. They actually have the same base speed, so... And the speed is just a matter of leveling Hayato up and getting him with, to more speed. I have used Hayato in the past quite a lot of times, in fact, because I really like Tharia. So, as a consequence, I really enjoy using Riot from time to time. Uh, Riot is Hayato's daughter, 
So you have to train Hayato at least uh, a bit to get her. But yeah, that's basically the only reason I could see for training Hayato, because Riot is honestly quite superior as a unit to Hayato. So normally whenever I train Hayato, I end up dumping him for his daughter. And that's all I can say about him. Uh, well, I guess as a little add-on, the rank in tomes at this point, very low. The rank is another of the reasons why I don't enjoy Setsuna that much. I think the rank is a bit low for this point. Uh, the rest is okay. The rank in healing for Athama is not that bad, because uh, low rank in healing in this game doesn't hurt you a lot. Once you reach C, you are basically able to use everything you wanted to. Honestly, the most important jump is from E to D to be able to use the Sun Festals. So he's okay, he's okay. And yeah, uh, we're getting good levels, like 6 to 8 across the board. I think our average is probably 7. And only due to certain units like uh, Asura or Mothu that are definitely exceptions. Tsubaki and Orochi I wasn't training as much. Yeah, we have very good growths across the board. As I said, I'm going to try and train Setsuna. Uh, emphasis on try. If I'm not able to get her to, I don't know, promotion or if she gets killed, don't blame me. This is an Iron Man after all. But that's going to be the future for now. This has been Pomum. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.